What's going on guys? I am the Walrus Jedi and welcome to another episode of Clone Wars Reviews. Uh, this time we will be reviewing Clone Wars Season 1, Episodes 11, 12, 13, and 14. They are titled Dooku Captured, The Gungan General, Jedi Crash, and Defenders of Peace, respectively. If you like these kinds of videos, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more Clone Wars reviews in the future. And there will be spoilers for these episodes, so consider that your warning. Now the cast for these episodes. You have Matt Lanter, Anakin Skywalker, James Arnold Taylor, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jim Cummings, Hondo Onaka, Corey Burton is Count Dooku and Senator Karras, Ashley Eckstein is Ahsoka Tano, Ian Abercrombie is Palpatine, Tom Kane is Yoda, the narrator, and Yularen, D. Bradley Baker is The Clones, B.J. Hughes is Jar Jar Binks, Jennifer Hale is Ayla Secura, George Coe is T. Wat Ka, Alec Medlock is Wag 2, and George Takai is Lock Durd. 11. Dooku Captured, which aired January 2nd, 2009, on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Jesse Ye and written by Julie Siege. The moral is, the winding path to peace is always a worthy one, regardless of how many turns it takes. Chasing Dooku, Obi-Wan, and Anakin down his ship on Vancor, but they crash as well. They investigate Dooku's ship, discovering a homing beacon, which they quickly destroy. The two Jedi then go in a nearby cave, which Dooku seals, and he returns to his ship to see pirates looting it. The leader of this roguish band of weak ways is Hondo Onaka. Son, if one hostage is good, two are better. And three, well, that's just good business. <laughs> he offers to take Dooku to Florum, and the Count accepts. Back in the sealed cave, Obi-Wan and Anakin fight a Gundark, and after dealing with that, Ahsoka and some clones clear the entrance to the cave. Having taken Dooku prisoner, Hondo contacts the Republic and asks for one million credits worth of spice for the Count. Chancellor Palpatine asks for proof. Hondo shows Dooku and his lightsaber, but they want to send a Jedi to ascertain the truth. Obi-Wan and Anakin go to Florum, they discover the Count is truly captured by the weak ways and tell the Republic to deliver the spice. The two Jedi are then invited to a weak way banquet, and that is where the episode ends. Number 12, The Gungan General, which aired January 9th, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Justin Ridge and written by Julie Siege. The moral is, fail with honor rather than succeed by fraud. Obi-Wan and Anakin awaken to discover that they have also been taken captive by the brutish brigands. Jar Jar Binks and Senator Karras are the Republic representatives delivering the spice, but they are shot down by a rogue pirate who wants the spice for himself. During the crash, due to Jar Jar's bumbling buffoonery, Senator Karras is killed and the pirates come to take the spice. The two Jedi, along with Dooku, make several escape attempts, but are foiled each time. Jar Jar and the clones regain the spice and head towards the pirate compound. However, the pirates send out tanks and once again, the bumbling buffoonery of Jar Jar takes the tanks out and the power line to the compound is also destroyed, thus setting free Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Dooku. Dooku escapes and Anakin takes Hondo hostage so they can leave. They let Hondo go to give him a warning about Dooku seeking revenge. 13. Jedi Crash, which aired January 16th, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Rob Coleman and written by Katie Lucas. The moral is greed and fear of loss are the roots that lead to the Tree of Evil. Above a planet in the Quell system, the Chosen One himself, Anakin Skywalker, and his Padawan, Ahsoka Tano, arrive to aid the Twi'lek Jedi, Aayla Secura, and her troops. Skywalker and his apprentice board the gun... Skywalker and his apprentice board gunships. They get to Sakura's damaged Venator and clear a path to the Twi'lek Jedi. Once they meet up with her, they go to a ship Anakin ordered docked. But Skywalker is injured and the rest of the group fly the ship. The ship is damaged and goes on an incorrect jump to hyperspace, which will lead to a star. They do manage to right the error, but crash on a nearby planet. They set up a camp for the injured Skywalker and Captain Rex stays behind to watch over him. Ayla Secura, Ahsoka, 
and Commander Bly and the other clones go to find help. Some creatures attack Rex, but he scares them off. Those same creatures attack Sakura's group and kills the three plane clones. They arrive at a village of Scottish lemur people called Lerman. What have you come here for? They ask the leader of said village for aid, and he sends his son, Wag2, who is a healer, to go with them while Ayla Sakura stays at the village. They arrive at the camp. When more of those creatures attack, they kill one of them and tie up the other. They then bring Anakin back to the village. 14. Defenders of Peace, which aired January 23rd, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Stuart Lee and written by Bill Canterbury. The moral is, when surrounded by war, one must eventually choose a side. Still on the planet with the Lerman, our heroes see a Separatist ship arrive. T. Wat Ka, the Lerman leader, tells the Jedi they must leave. He then goes out to see what the Separatists want. The Separatist general, a rotund Nemoidian called Lock Durd, I am General Lock Durd of the Separatist Alliance, has come to test a new weapon he calls the Defoliator. This ghastly device launches a shell destroying all living things in a radius, but it leaves machines, such as battle droids, unharmed. The Jedi break into the Separatist base at night, stealing two shield generators and a shuttle. They then return to the Lerman village and begin to set up defenses despite Tiwat Ka's protestations. Lock Durd sends squads of battle droids in after the Separatists notice the shields. The droids manage to destroy the shield generators. Anakin destroys the defoliator and captures the well-fed Nemoidian general. They leave, and that is where it ends. What I liked. For Dooku Captured, uh, this is Hondo Onaka's introduction, and he's a fun character. He put up quite a fight. Blasters, cannons, that glowy thing. This isn't his best episode, but it's a decent introduction. For the Gungan general, the banter between... Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Dooku is kind of entertaining, you know, the, as their prisoners and stuff like that. For Jedi Crash, uh, we get to see Ayla Secura and have a little minute to shine on her and in the next episode as well. And then for Defenders of the Peace, Luck Dirt is, is kind of an interesting uh, character. And now what I didn't like. For Dooku Captured, in my opinion, uh, his lightsaber it should be proof that they have Dooku because... His lightsaber is unique. Uh, you don't see very many curve hilted lightsabers, so I feel like that's pretty a pretty dead giveaway. And during the when he met with uh, Hondo, he kept he, he pulled his robe over the lightsaber and to me that just automatically calls attention to that spot. So I just think that was a little a little short-sighted for someone that's would never do something like that, so... And then for the Gungan General, it, it's an episode full of Jar Jar's bumbling buffoonery. So that's... Hooray. And then for the Jedi Crash, and Defenders of the Peace, really, the Lerman, just, they don't fight. They're like, oh, we'll just sit around and die. You know, we don't want to protect ourselves or even defend ourselves, so we'll just die. It's... Uh, it's it's like, come on, at least defend your homes and and that. You don't have to go off fight and side with the Republic, but you don't have to roll over and just let people roll all over you. That's, well, for ratings, these episodes get a 6.5 out of 10, a 2 out of 10, a 6.5 out of 10, and a 6.5 out of 10, respectively. A mixed bag, some decent episodes, but one really smelly turd in the bunch. Let me know what you thought of these episodes in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy the Jar Jar stuff? You can watch my review of the previous three episodes with the new Gunray stuff on the top left and the review of the first four episodes of Season 1 on the bottom left. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.